Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of uh, <clears throat> Beyond the Script. Um, and uh, I'm not going to be on with you too long today, and I don't have any microscopic slides to show you, many of you who have uh, uh, been on our program before. But um, <clears throat> what I do want to do is share with you a special case, and this is going to be part one. I want to talk about a patient we treated in the office, uh, began treating like over a week ago. Um, uh, a young patient come in with um, in, in her 30s with the diagnosis of lupus uh, that she's been battling a number of years ago and um, I had to start uh, dialysis uh, not long ago. Uh, we saw her because she, she knows what we'll be doing and uh, know about our approach to treating patients and our integrative approach and so she wanted to try this for her health. So um, we saw her <coughs> a while back. And so she presented with a history of lupus, uh, in stage renal disease for which she was uh, being treated with dialysis, uh, and also hypertension um, and uh, elevated cholesterol and some other issues that were there. Uh, I, I do plan to give you a more detailed uh, picture of her case, but I want to give you an early version of uh, what's happened so far. So we saw the first day in the clinic, uh, and her initial blood pressure. I've pulled some of these things. Um, uh, so her initial blood pressure um, started at 174 over uh, 174 over 106 baseline. Okay, so that's the start. And so we we um, saw her and put her on the nutritional detox. So she was taken. Uh, Losartan and Lodipine, and many of these drugs may be familiar to you, they may not be familiar to you, I'll explain them in a minute. Uh, clonidine, um, and she was also taking some other medications for, um, uh, she wasn't on anything for cholesterol, she was taking period Tylenol and some omega 3 supplements, uh, but primarily the Lodipine, Clonidine, uh, Losartan. And also doxycycline, I think, was, uh, to help her blood pressure. Despite being all of these medications, her blood pressure was very, very high. Uh, and clonidine is a central acting um, drug that lowers the blood pressure centrally. Uh, and lodipine dilates the blood vessels. It's a calcium channel blocker. Losartan dilates blood vessels also. It called an angiotensin receptor blocker. Uh, it was some drugs, Valsartan was one of those drugs that had problems. Uh, the generic forms had problems out of China, and so some of those had to be moved from the market to Peru. But anyway, we saw her and initiated the nutritional detox. We put on food that was zero to four B, uh, raw smoothies, salads. Uh, it's similar to the high antioxidant diet that we recommend. So we started on that regimen. <clears throat> I replaced the clonidine with uh, carvedilol, which is a beta blocker, and um, she went through, uh, she started with the uh, Corvetolol in place of Clonidine, but I did not make any other medication change. Her blood pressure was very high, so I was concerned about you know, not, not making too many changes. And of course, when we start someone on the nutritional detox, we see them within one week. This is a very um, a precise program, uh, whether we monitor you in the office or monitoring you online, uh, we do close follow-ups. So anyway, we started this and uh, she went through the detox and then you know, the other day we saw her for one week follow-up and so she came and i'm gonna put these on the screen so um uh after let's see here after one week on the detox her blood pressure was and now what happened is that she said that she had to come off the detox. So I'm going to go over this experience because this is important. So after three days on the detox, she started feeling great initially. First three days, after the end of three days on day four and five, she started feeling terrible. And so she had to break the detox. And so this is the story I got going into her exam room. And so, um, when I saw this, um, I said, wait a minute, this is interesting. She 
you know, was doing well, but then she had to get off the detox. So when talking to you, say, well, look, I felt terrible, I've got headaches. When I went to the analysis unit, you know, my blood pressure is normally very high. Uh, the, the systolic blood pressure in dialysis was only 98 compared to 174. And so she had to break the detox. So she had to eat some cooked foods. Um, she had something with a little cheese in it one day. But she stayed on the detox for the most part otherwise. So essentially what she had to do is that she had to reduce uh, the detox level. She had to reduce the amount of uh, raw food that she consumed. And so she started consuming um, uh, foods that were in the uh, higher levels. So she went from raw to eating some cooked. I'm gonna share some of these on the screen for you. So blood pressure started at 174 over 106. After one week of detox, her blood pressure 126 over 81. But this is like this, she had to break the detox. So the power of the detox, and I'm gonna show this for you on, uh, uh, who are on uh, YouTube, and also those of you on Facebook. The power of the detox was so great that she became hypotensive. That's why she felt weak and tired. And so um, <clears throat> this is a problem that we see from time to time, and this is why we follow my patients you know, within one week. If you're on one of our online programs from far away, you make sure you're following up with your physician because your medications, they have to be weaned faster than normal, <clears throat> excuse me. And so in this case, um, on the follow-up visit, we had to reduce uh, her detox, her medication rather. We cut the Carvedilol in half. We discontinued the Losart, kept off the clonidine, left on the Nolipine. And um, we told her to get back on the uh, detox. So essentially, um, what we want to do is create a process by which um, we had to wean her medication. So we want to put her back on the detox. We decrease the medication. We want to rely more on her detox rather than the medications. And this is the first step in terms of how um, we go about um, detoxing someone. And um, so we're going to follow up with her in one week uh, on the detox and we'll see how she does. So this is an example of how we put patients on a nutritional detox. And I'll give you more and more little insights into this because this is an important uh, finding for uh, uh, patients to, uh, important understanding, uh, insight rather, for you to understand what we do and how we do it from a nutritional standpoint. The integrative part to this that I want you to understand is that we didn't just willingly say, come off all of your medications. Now, what I would say is that we should have decreased the medication a little bit more aggressively here. Okay, we decreased some, we made changes, but I thought she was gonna have some improvement within one week. But it goes to show you, you don't always know how these patients are gonna to respond to these medication intervention. So, you know, this integrative approach um, sounds pretty, you know, fancy that's wonderful we often give you case scenarios where oh look at mrs jones she came in and you know she went to our detox program and and after four weeks she looks great no more medications etc and that's wonderful but what i'm going to try to do in the course of the show is give you insights i want to raise the hood up and show you step by step how we work with these patients and sometimes we struggle there's a struggle between you know balancing medications, adjusting nutritional regimen. She was very compliant till her, she had side effects of feeling weak and fatigue. Um, we probably should have followed up with her three days, four days after the phone call, maybe made an adjustment with week. But the nutritional detox is very powerful. What I do want to share with you is um, if many of you who may be interested in our online program uh, we have a program where uh, we also detox patients um, uh, for our online program. Uh, I'll share this with you on the screen. Now, what we do is um, the online program 
uh, we have this with our patients and uh, it's a program that uh, if you're far away uh, it's very helpful to um, I'll share it with you on both Facebook and I'll share it with you on uh, YouTube but um, it's a way our patients can follow us remotely uh, it has a lot of the detox instructions and then you can get support with uh, phone calls as well uh, but anyway I just wanted to share this tidbit with you this uh, small little scenario um, uh, it's not as glamorous as a lot of the presentation where you, to, you know show all of this wonderful stuff but I'm going to give you presentations like this on a regular basis where I show you the nuts and bolts of what happened and I'll give you a follow-up on this patient you know she's agreed to uh, allow us to share information because um, we want you to be educated so I'm not just going to give you the very beginning and the very end I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step, you know uh, approach so uh, as a footnote again the patient with hypertension and lupus uh, and, uh, and end stage renal disease uh, on the nutritional detox being treated with the food prescription program. Uh, stay tuned, we'll give you follow ups uh, over time. Thank you very much. Uh, it's good to see you this morning. Sorry it's so short, uh, but I really wanted to share this with you. I'm going to go get ready and start rounding in the hospital. I'll see you later.